The strength and elegance of titanium are captivating. This remarkable metal is essential in aerospace, medical implants and luxury watches. But how is it made? Let's explore the intricate process transforming raw ore into the versatile material we use today. Titanium is like that brilliant friend. Talented but difficult. It's strong, lightweight and corrosion resistant, indispensable in modern engineering. Yet, extracting and processing it requires elaborate procedures. Welcome to everyday things uncovered. Titanium is the ninth most abundant element, but rarely found pure. It has a strong affinity for oxygen and other elements, making extraction challenging. It's so reactive it bonds with virtually anything. The journey of titanium begins with mining. Most titanium is found in two main minerals, ilmenite and rutile. These are typically mined from open pit sites in Australia, South Africa and Canada. Heavy machinery extracts the ore, followed by crushing and washing to separate the titanium minerals. Ilmenite, iron titanium oxide, makes up about 92% of global titanium mineral production. It's an unremarkable black mineral. Rutile, the premium stuff, is nearly pure titanium dioxide with a reddish-brown color. It's like the difference between a family car and a racing car. Mining is a marvel of industrial engineering. Massive drag lines and excavators strip away earth to reach the titanium-bearing sands. These machines move thousands of cubic meters per hour with surprising precision. The extracted ore then undergoes magnetic and electrostatic separation, sorting millions of tiny particles using magnetism and static electricity. Once titanium ore is mined, the journey to pure metal begins. The Kroll process, developed by William J. Kroll in the 1940s, is the industry standard. It starts by converting the ore into titanium tetrachloride, a volatile and highly reactive liquid. Kroll's ingenious process, virtually unchanged for eight decades, tackles titanium's extreme reactivity head-on. The challenge isn't just extraction, but doing so without it immediately reacting with everything around it. Here's how it works. Titanium ore is mixed with chlorine gas and a carbon source like coke. This mixture is heated to about 1000 degrees Celsius in a reactor. At high temperatures, chlorine reacts with titanium in the ore, forming titanium tetrachloride. Impurities like iron remain behind. The reactor itself is a formidable steel vessel lined to withstand extreme heat and the corrosive chlorine gas. This controlled chemical reaction reaches temperatures hot enough to melt copper. Next, purification. Titanium tetrachloride is distilled to remove impurities, yielding a pure liquid. This distillation is critical, achieving 99.9% .9 purity. Precise temperatures and pressures separate compounds with tiny boiling point differences. Impurities compromise the final product. Then it's reduced to metallic titanium, reacting it with magnesium or sodium in a vacuum or inert atmosphere. The reduction reaction is spectacular. Magnesium, heated to 850 degrees Celsius, reacts violently with titanium tetrachloride in a sealed argon reactor. It's so energetic it must be carefully controlled. What emerges is titanium sponge, a porous coral-like structure of pure metallic titanium, not the kind for washing dishes, magnesium or sodium chloride are byproducts. Titanium sponge isn't the strong, shiny metal we know. To transform it, the sponge must be melted and refined, typically by vacuum arc remelting, VR, or electron beam melting, EBM. This occurs in a vacuum furnace, often with alloying elements, removing impurities and creating a homogeneous metal. VAR is a precise process. An electric arc melts a titanium electrode dripping molten metal into a water-cooled crucible. This entire process happens in a near-perfect vacuum ensuring atomic level purity. Electron beam melting uses high energy electrons to precisely bombard and melt specific areas of the sponge. It's like a computer controlled welding torch with incredible precision. The molten titanium is then cast into massive ingots, the raw material for further processing. A single ingot can weigh several tons, representing weeks of careful work. Ingots are reheated and shaped into sheets, rods or tubes using industrial presses, rollers or extruders. Forging requires immense hydraulic presses, slowly shaping the metal at 1000 degrees Celsius, where it glows like a small sun. This process uses marvels of engineering. Titanium superpower is forming strong, lightweight alloys. Mixing it with other elements enhances properties for specific applications. For instance, titanium, aluminium, vanadium alloys are vital in aerospace and automotive for their strength, corrosion and lightweight. 
Alloying occurs during melting. Elements like aluminum, vanadium or molybdenum are added to molten titanium, creating materials with tailored properties. This versatility makes titanium suitable for everything from jet engines to prosthetic limbs. After basic shaping, titanium undergoes precise machining and finishing. It's notoriously tough due to hardness and heat resistance, requiring specialized tools and techniques. Low thermal conductivity causes rapid heat buildup, risking both tool and workpiece. Machinists use carbide or ceramic tools, flood coolant and glacially slow speeds demanding immense patience, skill and costly equipment. Post-machining, titanium products receive additional treatments like polishing or coating. Medical implants are polished to a mirror-like finish for biocompatibility, while aerospace parts get heat treatments for strength and durability. Various surface treatments, anodizing, passivation, shot peening, thermal oxidation, enhance specific properties. Anodizing creates colors from gold to deep purple, shot peening boosts fatigue resistance. While titanium is a remarkable material, its production isn't without environmental impact. Mining and the Kroll process require significant energy and generate waste. However, titanium's long lifespan and recyclability, especially for airplane parts and medical implants, help offset these costs. Though producing a kilogram of titanium uses 10 times more energy than steel, that same titanium can serve in an aircraft engine for decades, enduring conditions that destroy other materials. This longevity offers significant environmental dividends over time. Researchers are actively exploring more sustainable production methods. One promising alternative is the FC Cambridge process which uses electrolysis to extract titanium directly from its ore. This method, named after its developers Frey, Farthing and Chen, represents a potential revolution. It's more energy efficient, environmentally friendly and could dramatically reduce titanium's footprint. As innovation continues, titanium's role will grow, enabling incredible new applications. From deep within the earth to cutting-edge technologies, titanium truly is a remarkable material. Like, subscribe and share your ideas for our next video in the comments. Thanks for watching. Click the next video to learn more.